So in the last video, I told you a little bit about how I was able to hyper target uh, real estate agents on Facebook with ads. The ad was relatively simple. Basically, it said, don't use this contract, which is called the Farbar contract, until you check out this training. It freaked some of them out. And so that ad went to a page on my website that gave them an opportunity to opt in, which is basically exchange their first name and their email address to go into my CRM, as I said in the last video. You can hyper target professions. You can target people that like certain pages or groups. It is a great way to put ads in front of people that could be prospective clients of yours. Now, I did this for referral sources, but I also used it to attract people that were searching for Broward County attorneys or real estate attorneys, and we got business that way too. So the fact of the matter is that social media ads can really drive a lot of prospects to your front door, to your virtual front door or whatever. But the fact of the matter is you've got to give them something of value. And so this is the content marketing idea that I pitched to you in the last video. So what is it that you can share with your ideal prospective clients or referral sources that could get them interested enough to give you their email address and their first name? This is something that you got to brainstorm. You got to think about, you got to look at what I did is news jacked back in the day. One of the things that was happening was that there was a new uh, closing statement coming out for the country and it wasn't a HUD one anymore. And we did some live training that we recorded. We did some short videos that we recorded and we offered these trainings to them too. And so not only did we do some webinars that were on the contract, the main contract that most people used in the area and, the, and actually in the state to get people to sign up, but there's a variety of things that we use, like one of the best videos we had on YouTube. We got 100,000 views of our videos. The, one of the most viewed videos was a video on wire transfers. You would think this is the most boring topic in the world. <laughs> it really is boring, but real estate agents don't understand it. They had no idea. So we were sitting around in a meeting and I was looking for some new ideas for videos from my staff and I was asking my office manager, what is it that you're having a challenge with? What can we educate our uh, ideal referral partners? Um, they really weren't partners. They were just referral sources. What can we educate them on? And she said, you know, we really need to train them on wire transfers. They think it's instantaneous. One bank clicks the button and it should be there. And that's not the case. And so my law partner and my wife, she did a video on wire transfers. It had thousands and thousands of views. People would send us emails saying, oh my God, I never knew this about wire transfers. Thank you. We got an email from some woman in Texas, a guy in California on that very video. So ultimately you want to target people that are looking for what you're doing or referral source partners. Um, they're not going to be partners. I'm, I keep saying that, sorry. Uh, but you want to target whoever it is you want to bring in as a prospect. So this is something that there is a learning curve. And I bought some courses on it. Uh, there are some books you can get. You got to figure out what you're doing. But once you figure it out and you do some A-B testing, which test out A and B and see which one works best, or C, D, and E, and F, this is what I did. I tested out three or four different ads and the one that worked the best, I ran it every day. And at a certain point, we were getting three to five real estate agents in the county we did business in in Fort Lauderdale a day, a day. Just think about if you could get three prospective clients to opt in and send them information and then close them in a way that signs them up as a client, what could that do for your business? Huge, huge. Keep reading. And in the next video, we're going to talk about blogging and SEO.